It's the birthplace of grunge rock music. Seattle, Washington is the site for today's football game. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Gross has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And they get nice yardage on that run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. They'll spread the field with five wide. Receivers got the first down. Love to watch quarterbacks on third down to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down, they get a new set of downs. And he's tackled at the 43. their own 43 yard line second down they come out on an empty backfield quick throw out to the receiver incomplete here's the eighth play of the series under heavy pressure Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Strike to his receiver, no good. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 27. Makes the catch and look out. Gilliam picks up seven yards with that catch. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Fresno State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. And it is good. 
They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Washington's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Here we go. 180. Quick release. Tight end. Incomplete. That'll make it third and five. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That is just sound, fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. First and 10, ball on the 47. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. McMillan takes it counter right. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. That makes it third and three. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now, remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 20. zone for the touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 59-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 7-3. Washington is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. 
And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Caught, and he's hit immediately. From their own 23 yard line, it's second down. Just throws this one away. He lets it go. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. And they make the stop at the 35 yard line. throw got him again tackle around the 17 yard line great play for the offense and a great call by the offense but the defense has to change things up they've got to put more pressure on this quarterback so let's see how the defense responds now it's first down and 10 down right around the eight yard line that brings up second and nine and down he goes around the eight yard line this is the eighth play of this drive Got it on the quick throw. And he's level at the 11. That makes it fourth and four. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. King has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they start to get a little bit fatigued. From their own 30-yard line, second down, Washington up a point. Here we go. He scrambles. And he's taken down around the 33 yard line. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 33. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. That'll make it fourth and six. 
Sharon is the deep man awaiting the return. And he's tackled at the 38. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. Catches it, and that's all. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He fields the punt at the 13. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Washington is up one. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. A little toss across the middle, and he hits him hard at the 42. We're through one quarter. Washington's up by one. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Throwing left. And he's immediately tackled. From the 29 yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Throws in a hurry. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 73-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Gross looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Jackson makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five-wide set. 
And the defense counters with their dime look. He's taken down at about the 41. That's a team that made on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Right Looks left, picked off. Inside the 30 to the 10. Tackle made around the four yard line. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Washington holds an eight point advantage. He's tackled at the four yard line. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. He's already thrown for three scores. Defense better make some adjustments, and they need to make them now because this passing attack is making a highlight film right now. And he hits the PAT. A quick two-play, four-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 21-6. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Make the stop around the 34-yard line. McMillan is back to receive. He really got a hold of that one. McMillan fields it at the 19, and down he goes at the 31-yard line. The Huskies right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on it. What they've done so far hasn't worked. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackle around the 47-yard line. Gets out to about the 48-yard line. Hey, 
from their own 48-yard line. Second down. Brought down around the 43-yard line. out to around the 32. First and 10. Ball on the 32. Nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. On there. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong, the offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. Get to that quickly. And down he goes at the 10. It's first and ten. Ball on the ten-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Here's play number ten on the drive. Fires out to his wideout. And he's taken down at about the nine-yard line. That'll make it third and, nine. and they'll look to convert here on another third down. Another run. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of five on the way. Fourth down. He gets it up, and he's got it. Gross has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it third and three. Gets out to around the 48. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. First down. First and 10, ball on their own 48. They come out in a five wide set. He gets another carry. He makes it to the 48 yard line. the middle for a nice game. game is six on the That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he 
he's tackled right away. Gaining five yards. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throwing right. It falls incomplete. From the 41 yard line. Second down. Flips it middle to the running back. And he tackles him hard at the 45. Need to get it down to the 31. Fires it out. He's at the 20. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. This is the 10th play of this drive. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. He tackles him for a loss. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. They're at the five. It's second down. And they hit him in the backfield. Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the three. Watson picks up seven yards with that catch. up and they tack on three points they're probably just going to squib this kick i don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime he sends this one deep this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another Here's an opening. He's to the 40. Makes it to the 44. Well, we've played a half of football. Washington's up by 15. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Take a look at both quarterbacks in this game and neither one of them even has their pants dirty. Nobody's been on the ground here. No pressure generated by the defense, but one of the reasons is because quarterbacks have been able to get rid of the football maybe maybe a little help in the secondary to those guys trying to rush the pass the guys up front always get the blame but it really is a business that works hand in hand because I, you can get a lot of sacks off garbage sacks where it's great coverage down the field but the quarterback has to hold it for four or five seconds but it works the other way around too if somebody's open every time he pats that football and reaches the top of his drop can't get there in time so the the coverage needs to tighten up a little bit mess up the rhythm jam the receivers maybe a little bit more give me a little bit of time so those big boys up front can get to the quarterback that's going to do it for david and me here in the studio time to get you back to the game red and kirk ready to take you home in the second half All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. 
And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line. First down. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. So they go to the air and pick up six. Good recovery here by the corner to react that quickly on the throw and prevent this from becoming even a bigger game. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 11 yard line. From the 11 yard line, it's first down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Johnson takes the second at the 10 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Tackle made right around the two yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Little handoff. Touchdown, Washington. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. Seems like ultimately they weren't quite sure what was coming at them, and they gave up the score. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving, receiving 
So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes it to the 22-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a game seven. Third down. He's tackled at about the 31. And the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gilliam takes the give. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. And they make the stop at the 46. That makes it first and 10. From their own 46 yard line, first down. And they got him for a loss. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper, a loss of one. He might have a chance. And they get nice yardage on that run. They'll line it up again on third down. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws it deep. coaches just got to be happy I'd love to coach a kid like this oh I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this and another great performance by him individually and for this offense their last drive ended with a touchdown let's see what happens on this possession this quarterback right now is in a rhythm and a lot of that has to do with his preparation you can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make getting the football out of his hands that he's feeling very very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense they need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. He's going left. Complete. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Hit 
He's on the run. He's pushed out of bounds at the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, first down. Up the middle. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a game of four on the way. That makes it second and six. Let's go. Mike 19. Mike 19. Nice run there. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's going to try and scramble. Dives for extra yardage. It's the ninth play of the drive. He gets rid of this one. From the 26-yard line, second down. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Ten gets it out quickly, and down he goes at the two. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Brought down at the five. This is the 13th play of this drive. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Slings it. Tackled for a loss. Taken back three yards. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The kick is up, and he's got it. Gross has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Throws it out there. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Green to the back, no good. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Good open field tackle.
They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's to the 40, heading for the corner. And he just got stood up right there. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. Washington up big right now in this one. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. We head to the fourth quarter, and this one is well in hand. The Huskies with a huge lead. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. There's a strike complete, and he's down. They're about four yards away here on third down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Quick strike, and he drops it. out to his receiver and he's taken down right around the 30. From the 30 yard line first down Washington looking to build on this commanding lead here. And he might want it all here and does. He caught it. Touchdown. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. I think this is why the quarterback typically goes to this wide receiver, because his willingness to just sell out and make a catch. Here, it's a nice throw, but really, it was more about the effort by the wide receiver to lay out and make that play for the touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Gives it to the back. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. McMillan is back deep to return the punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. 
McMillan takes it at the 32. Brought down at the 45. This senior quarterback's put on a good show, Kirk. Well, he really has. You know, this is the kind of guy that's a, just a perfect fit for this system. This team's really going to miss him down the road starting next year. The thing that stands out to me is the decision-making. When you can have a quarterback make these kind of decisions, deliver the ball quickly and accurately, you know you can have a great day offensively. He'll lead them out for another drive here, looking to add to his numbers and to their lead. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. And that one's incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Tackle made at about the 35. Washington up by a bunch. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From the 35 yard line, it's second down. Caught in a big hit, he stopped in his tracks. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. From the 13-yard line, first down. And they got him. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Second and 15. Ball on the 18-yard line. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Here's the eighth play of the series. The cavalry's coming. He lets it go. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down, getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Washington with a big advantage. It's up, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Almost intercepted there. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Here's the 
here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. You're trailing. Time's a factor. Why not make your offense more of a vertical threat instead of running? King awaits the snap. Oh, what a hit. Pretty good job by the return man there. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Tackle right around the 40. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Washington comes to the line holding that commanding lead. He's scrambling. They bring him down. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Mike one, Mike one. Here we go. Fires out quick. It's picked off. That was just a sloppy pass, but for now, they can afford to live with it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Flips it, middle to the running back. And he's tackled at the 33. From the 33-yard line, third down. They come out in an empty backfield. Green to the receiver, nothing doing. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws incomplete. A lot of teams will lose the intensity when the game's already been decided, but not these young men. Another good stop right there. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. Washington with a commanding lead. And he throws it away. Caught open field. He's out of bounds right around the 46 yard line. From their own 46 yard line, it's third down. quickly and he's got his man and they make the stop around the 26 yard line
It's first and ten. Ball on the 26 yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Good tackle there in space. So we're looking at another third down here. Just under two to go in the game. stop there late in the fourth quarter but it's a blowout and has been for most of the game I think it's time for everybody to go home they'll call on the field goal unit here they're already up big and this could make the lead bigger Kick is up, and it's good. Washington's got one of the best quarterbacks in the business. He played like one on that last drive. Well, that drive was huge to set up that game-winning field goal. The quarterback at times just looked so relaxed back there, like he was just playing a video game, just making good decisions and moving the ball right down the field for that game-winning kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. That is a great hit. And we're not just talking about some undersized wide receiver. This is a big guy, and you've really got to bring it to knock the ball away like he did there. Under a minute left. Quick throw. Moss picks up six yards with that grab. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he's immediately tackled. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Roger, Roger. Hey, check, check five, 11, check and off to the left. Nice run to the outside. Huskies know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. 
That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.